Good afternoon. Welcome to my new channel. Uh, I've decided to start making videos now, as it's a new a new winter season, and just really for my own personal enjoyment. Um, just going to be metal detecting, nothing else, nice and simple. Um, I'm just going to basically video my finds and uh, see what's what. Um, it's a nice day, so I decided to have a half day at work. Uh, so I finished at half twelve. I've come to one of my favourite permissions where I've had a lot of my best finds from here. Um, I just wish I'd started doing videos five years ago, to be fair. But um, yeah, this uh, this place is open for winter now. I'm not allowed on here in the summer, so uh, here we go. Today I'm using my beloved Garrett AT Pro uh, with an L Tornado coil. I know people slate these machines now and they're not Equinoxes, but uh, well, let's just say mine's been very good to me over the years. This is my first signal. It's a solid 78. Oh dear, it's a piece of lead. Great start. Next signal. Solid 76. So it's going to be a half penny. Or penny. Something like that. Just doing a couple of live digs to start with. Although it is a little bit annoying using one hand. Oh, and there we go. First coin of the day is a half penny. These are fields that I have literally absolutely hammered over the last three years. And I just keep finding coins in them. On to the next. Just look at that blue sky. What an absolutely amazing day. Shame I've only got half a day's holiday left. But... Next signal. A bullet case. Oops. It's a lot more difficult doing stuff with one hand. But I don't know what that is, but it actually looks not alive, I don't think. Oh well. It's another find. Next signal. Huge chunk of lead. Seems to have got a piece of iron in it as well. A bit like a, a Roman steel yard weight would, but I don't think it is one of those. Completely unsure about that one. Next signal. It's a solid 78. Seeing it's down there. Apologies for the sun. It is very sunny. It looks like an old penny. Oh no. It isn't an old penny. No, it's just one of those big buttons. Nothing exciting. On to the next one. Next up, another buckle. Oh, this one's tiny. Well, it's been a while, but I finally had another signal. I can see what it is. Right there. It's got to be an old penny this time. You just cannot come on this place without finding an old penny. It looks like... George V. Only two coins so far. On to the next. Well, I was about to walk away and then I checked the hole again and there was another signal in it. And I think it's going to be the same again. Another penny. Guessing it'll be George's again. Yep. Well, at least that's three coins. Well, again, still at the same hole, there was another signal, I had to dig a bit more for it, but there it is, nothing to shout about, but a little sixpence, it is literally impossible to come here and leave without finding a silver coin, I wonder if there's any more yet, we'll soon see, again, still in the same hole, Another signal, I'm not sure what this is. 
Oh, it's another sixpence, look. Somewhere under all the muck. It's exactly the same as the last one. Looks like I'll need a bit of uh, lemon juice on it, but it's another silver, isn't it? Any more? Yep, you guessed it. Not quite in the same hole, about a foot away. I am going to tidy that up in a minute. Another signal. It looks like another penny. Another George penny. What a surprise. Oh, that looks like George. George the sixth. So. It's not going too bad now, after that little uh, coin spill, um, I have just trod in a, a fresh cow pat, which splattered all over my shoe, and I took a step backwards out of it, straight into another one, so now my boots are covered in cow crap, but I'm uh, just moving on now to have a look in the next field, not really found much in this one before, but you never know, see you soon. Well, that certainly did not take long. I've literally walked 10 foot from the gate. It's quite a dodgy signal. I almost didn't dig it. And there it is. It's another silver sixpence. Only 50%. I always call these ones um, Wartime sixpences because they're usually 1940s. All the last three coins I've dug have all been silvers. So, what's next? Next signal. It's quite deep down. We all know what that is a medieval spindle wall. Might be a decorated one as well. Look, I'll be able to clean that up later. Well, I like finding lead artifacts. I'll go on my shelf. On to the next one. Oopsie. And the next one. Another coin. Looks like a half penny. It's a half penny. George V. Well, coming thick and fast now. On to the next. Same hole. I thought I'd check it again. It looks like there's another half penny. It's not old. Just another George V. Just get so many pocket spills on this uh, on this place. It's just such a nice place as well. Can't beat it. Another signal. It was a solid 76. You can just see something in there. Look. Probably going to be a half penny or something. I don't know. Huh. Oh, that's a button. I wouldn't really uh, video buttons, but there we go. That's about the third one I've had. Another signal. Horlicks tablets. Oops. A bit of rubbish, I know, but... You know, it's something, isn't it? 9D. 9 pence. That's got to be... I don't know. 60s maybe, who knows. Another coin. <laughs> it was shallow, so we had to dig a little one and there it is. An old pound. People say they can't spend those anymore, but Nat West in Derby still accepts those. I've took back at least probably 1500 now since this has started. So I always save them. I rechecked my hole and there was another pound. They all count. A coin's a coin. Another coin. It smells a bit like cow poo up here, but it's pretty grim actually. Looks like a uh, mystery coin mystery coin. Yep, just a completely blank. Half penny of some descript, probably George, George the Third, something like that. <sighs> Another coin. You can see where it's been. It's obviously 
a half penny, look at that. There it is. What we got this time? An Edward. It's like an Edward half penny. I'm working my way back to the car now. Don't need a detector for this one. Can you see it? Looks like a new 5p. Just sat on the top. One for the piggy bank. Finally back to the car. Quick little roundup. A few buttons, the lead thing, the spindle wall, some buckles, three pennies, five half pennies, two old pounds, a new 5p, and three sixpences. That's it. I'm off to the pub now for a steak. In a good few hours. That's me done for today. Uh, I'm off to the pub for a steak with a couple of my friends. Um, I don't know how this video is going to come out, whether it's going to be rubbish or what, but um, if, you, if you enjoyed it, then feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm going to try and release a video maybe once a week, if I, if I can get out, um, or at least every couple of weeks, I'm not sure, but yep, yeah, so I, uh, I go out on my own mainly, sometimes a friend comes with me um, I only search where I live I'm not one of these people who goes all over England looking for stuff just I like my own local history so uh, I'll see you next time cheers